Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news and myself and Marta. Today is still the 27th of November and Sony has issued an official statement to Eurogamer regarding the prices of PSN digital games on the European and UK PSN store. And they have said that the prices of games on the PlayStation Store will be adjusted ahead of the console's European launch. Now, Sony and third-party publishers such as EA and Ubisoft were criticised this week after the PSN store was put live ahead of the EU launch that games such as FIFA 14, Battlefield 4 and Assassin's Creed 4 were more expensive on the PlayStation store than they were on the Xbox One game store and of course they are again more expensive than retail versions of the game. Now, EA PS4 games were £63 earlier this week. Then, of course, as I revealed just yesterday, they were reviewed, they were reduced sorry, to £60. However, as I pointed out during that video, that's still £5 more expensive than on the Xbox One. However, now these games are looking to be set to, to drop further in price to fall in line with the Xbox One store prices. And Sony said to Eurogamer, quote, although PS4 launches in Europe on the 29th of November, we have switched on the European PSN early to test and make sure that features and functionality are fully operational for launch. However, as PS4 and PSN have not officially launched in this region, nothing on the PSN is final, including pricing on the store. You will continue to see some prices adjusted over the next few days in preparation for the launch on Friday. So, you might ask, what happens if you've already paid for a game on the, the PSN store in the EU and, or, and the UK and it drops in price? Sony has said that the difference will be refunded if you've done that, so have no fear. Any of you who have perhaps bought a game just in preparation of the PS4 launch, you will be getting the difference returned to you. So this is definitely good news. I did speculate when I originally covered the prices of the games in the UK and the EU that perhaps they were placeholder prices due to the fact that, of course, the PS4 isn't even out yet in the EU slash UK. I thought, you know, maybe they've just put general prices there and then, you know, they'll be reduced when the game actually gets, the console, sorry, get, actually gets close to launch. Of course, we're still a couple of days away from the launch even now. Of course, it is a Wednesday and it's releasing on Friday day. So I'm definitely pleased to be seeing that at least they're going to be the same as the Xbox One. It did kind of baffle me how EA reduced the prices of their games. However, they were still more expensive than the version on the Xbox One for the exact same game, but of course just on a different platform. It just seemed rather odd and strange to say the least and it did seem odd how they reduced the price but only by such a paltry amount of three pounds however it does seem that at least some of the games will be matching the xbox one prices of course they have said some prices will be adjusted they didn't say all prices will be adjusted so of course with some games it's going to be down to the publisher so we may see some games remain at the prices that they are now we say may see some games reduced further but still be more expensive than the Xbox One and we may see a fair few games, as Sony has said, put down to the same price as the Xbox One, which is definitely good. Now, I still think that even if they match the Xbox One prices, which is great, we want parity across both platforms, okay, double thumbs up, cool. However, I still feel that £55 for a game is too expensive considering it's a digital version. I could go on Amazon or go into my local store and pick up a PS4 slash Xbox One game for 47 to 48 pounds, 49 maybe, depending on where I go. 50 maximum seems to be the price that I have personally seen here in the UK. Um, may vary if you say if you go to HMV, who are notoriously expensive, you may be charging more, but you get my point. It's still less expensive to buy the actual physical copy which is a little bit weird but I'm not going to complain too much I'm just simply pointing out that while a reduction in price is definitely good 
I still don't understand why digital versions are more expensive. That seems like it should be the other way around. But still, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth after all. Let's just take what we can get and accept this reduction in price. Hopefully there'll be a full and complete list of the official game prices either on or around the launch date of the PS4 here in the EU slash UK. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.